My question is in solidarity of, uh, with the indigenous people in not my country, but in America itself. Um, I just heard recently that um, this group of people is fighting um, to protect their um, ancestral land against the Nako uh, Dakota Access Pipeline. Yeah, so uh, my question is, um, what, uh, in your capacity, what can you do to ensure the protection of the ancestral land, the supply of clean water, and also uh, in environmental justice is uphold? It's a great question. The, as many of you know, uh, you know, the way that Native Americans were treated was tragic. Uh, and one of the, the priorities that I've had as president is restoring uh, a, an honest, and generous and respectful relationship with Native American tribes. And so we have made an unprecedented investment in meeting regularly with the tribes, helping them design ideas and plans uh, for economic development, for education, for health that is uh, culturally appropriate for them. And you know, this issue of ancestral lands and helping them preserve their way of life is something that uh, we have worked very hard on. Now, some of these issues are caught up with uh, laws and treaties. And, um, and so I can't give you details on this particular case. I'd have to go back to my staff and find out how are we doing on this one. Um, but what I can tell you is, is that we have actually restored more rights among Native Americans to their ancestral lands, sacred sites, uh, waters, uh, hunting grounds. Uh, we have done a lot more work on that over the last eight years than we had uh, in the previous 20, 30 years. And this is something that I hope will continue uh, as we go forward. But it was an excellent question.